Hi guys, welcome to the short video about the question how to measure the battery or power bank capacity with this HVHCY, uh, a yeah, complicated name, <laughs> uh, power USB power meter, that's the CT3. They have a couple of different versions. They have the versions just with the USB power meter and they have uh, the one with this load module here with the fan. Uh, this is a very advanced device, probably the most advanced USB power meter. So just to measure the capacity of power bank, usually we have been using such devices. And of course, we need a load module separate. And these things have been really easy to do with this normal uh, like old-fashioned device but when we have so, something really advanced like this we can do so many things but to measure just the capacity of a power bank yeah then it gets almost a little bit complicated which is really strange because it's uh, such an advanced device but, but I'm trying to show you uh, if you can do how we can do and if it's accurate to do compared to the traditional solutions. So the question is also how to hook it up. We can hook it up here with the USB-A. We can directly plug it here. That's one possibility. But we can also use the USB-C with a cable. So I'm hooking up the USB-C. You can see it's already starting. It's powering this thing. But the problem is when we go to the load module and we want to start, it says the load module requires a uh, dependent or independent power supply at micro PC port to work properly. Uh, yeah, actually independent. It's a little bit strange written here. So the question is what to do. I mean, you could think, okay, yeah, we have another uh, output here. So why not to plug this thing in here and uh, use the micro USB here? And then we can start it. Of course, we have to turn on the power bank again. So when we go into the load module, let's say constant current mode, and we want to start it you can see it's working the problem is then only i stop the thing here the problem is then only that the measurement won't be accurate because it's pulling some power here you think okay it's just a display it's not much doesn't do a lot but, but i can show you how much energy it's pulling from here actually and you would probably be surprised. Yeah, now it's a little bit difficult. We have a lot of cable here. So let's start this thing again. And you can see it's pulling 0 0.2 amps. And it's not crazy, but it's definitely uh, a lot. I mean, too much uh, to ignore it. And uh, we have two amps here. We have 0 0.2. 24 amps which is more than 10 percent of the whole energy uh, is consumed uh, by this thing here and why is this actually as far as i know this thing is powering the fan inside i don't know why they are doing this maybe it cannot be prevented so uh, this is a little bit strange thing when we have these two devices it's absolutely no problem because when you have this and at the end of that you attach this thing here to measure that uh, then the whole uh, current i mean the whole power for everything is going through this device and when you start this load module really everything is calculated and not with this thing so this is really really important to know otherwise you're going to have a 10 percent difference and i have already been testing this thing and it has been working exactly like that. It has been about 10% off. Apart from that, it has been doing a great job. So you have basically two options. The first option is to use the same power supply or the same power bank. I mean, it really doesn't hurt. I've been trying this and it has been delivering the data. We can see that here. So when I switch to the uh, other group, you can see that here I'm switching to this thing. You can see the numbers a little bit larger. Uh, it has been measuring 6,882 milliamps. 
uh, this is 10% lower than just with the two, these two devices and that's exactly because it has been consuming the power for the fan so it looks like it's working it's absolutely accurate it's also storing the values at the very end you don't have to be worried that you will lose uh, the values when the uh, battery stops here the power bank stops delivering uh, power it's the same thing as here it doesn't lose the values at the end you can turn it on again and then you will see the values that's working but if you're using uh, the same power source of course then you have to measure here and you have to measure here and you have to add these two numbers at the very end to know the capacity and the other option is of course instead of using this you're using a real independent power supply and then you can only go with this number and you don't have to uh, do some math some calculation these are the two options which you have with this device so it's a little bit more complicated than with this old set here but it still works that's good to know so in case these things fail at one point we don't have to buy uh, new ones we can all only go with this thing yeah almost forgot to show you the real details i mean i've just been showing you the setup and configuration and what to uh, be aware of but not the real details if you want to see the real details which buttons to push and which settings to use then stay tuned and i'm going to show you this uh, right now here so when we have everything ready we need to know what to do so we uh, switch the thing to the right side here and then we have the load module i hope you can see that it's a little bit mirroring on top we have the load module and then you have different options one is constant current one is constant power with the constant power the current will be adjusted based on the voltage we have the ramp up to see uh, how much amps you can pull in just for the capacity i would go with the constant current because usually we have a limit let's say 2.1 amps here on the power bank i mean we have to push in then of course then we uh, push to the right side again uh, push in to set the load here so we can go to 2100 which is 2.1 amps we push in to confirm then we can go to the right side to uh, do the voltage protection push in to set it yeah four four volts i think it's not a bad thing you can uh, set it a little bit higher but, but of course it has to be below five volts otherwise it it won't start with usb you could set it to maybe 4.5 volts uh, but it, sometimes it's it's pretty close to that when the battery is a little bit low but the thing you can also go lower it's no problem because it's turning off the uh, power anyway you could even go to three or two amps but as a safety precaution i would say i mean this is just my personal preference i would go with uh, four volts or so i think this is not a, a bad value the thing is it's a little bit difficult to find it yeah now we are close 4000 millivolts 4 volts so i think we are good to go here what we have to make sure of course that the numbers are reset so we have to double push here to go back to the main menu double push and then we have these values here you can see uh, there are already some values so we have two options when we long press we can either clear the values of this group or we can switch to the group which is still empty like this one we just confirm here and so we can do it here or overwrite and clear another group and then uh, go to the right side load module constant current mode and then we start this here with the push and finally it should work why doesn't it work yeah it has turned off you have to make sure that we are really on power with, from the power bank now we start it and you can see uh, it's really measuring we can go back and see and yeah, now i have just pushed once and we go back with a double push we can see the values here milliamps uh, milliwatts uh, we can push here to see everything many more things yeah i haven't checked everything i think we can even double push here 
to see it on a graph like the voltage maybe the amps I haven't tested everything but basically these are the options which we have and uh, yeah it's working it's just a little bit more complicated than with the old-fashioned thing like this but it still works if you have uh, bought this already if you haven't bought already I can really uh, recommend to buy the thing that's the most capable USB power uh, meter or measurement tool that's really capable uh, to do a lot much more than these things here especially when it comes to quick charge and PD testing these things uh, yeah it's really really a good thing it doesn't do uh, everything but it can do a lot and uh, yeah again it's the most sophisticated device if you are interested in something like that then I can really recommend this thing and I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out or the drive from there if you like it. And I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below. I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.